In this video, I'm going to show you how the Google Sweet Spot software can work in any niche. One of the great things about this software is that you can do your research, save your data, and then re-upload it and analyze the keywords it went out and found for you. And let's start with one of the niches. I have a folder where I've been saving all the reloadable CSVs and one of the things I first started out with was to go out and use Google Suggest for buy keywords and let me upload this to show you how by finding one keyword you can find more keywords. So I use the buy keyword to generate a Google Suggest list. Then I ran that into the Google AdWords and downloaded a CSV. Now this list has already been run. It's over a thousand keywords long and if we take a quick look you'll see that we found some good keywords. So instead of scrolling down I'm gonna just sort by the GSSI. Now the highest score was buy here, pay here, car lots in mass. As you know many of the results that are being returned are local results. So these are the keywords that I found using the Google Sweet Spot that are worth investigating. By doing one list it could lead you on to another niche, another list since the buy keyword is so general. So in this particular case, there's a lot of things in here about selling cars, uh, used cars, buy here cards, buy, I'm not sure what that is there, cards online, buying gold, gold's hot right now. This is the keyword, the long tail keyword that has 741 accurate results with only 49 results and 33 ads. Let's go down and let's take a look at some of the other keywords that uh, where to buy cheap books, K cups online, coffee cup, and so forth. So this is one way of doing some niche research and finding these long tail keywords that you can dump back into Google AdWords and generate a new list. Just wanted to show you that it can work for any keyword that you throw at it. So let's move on to another keyword list. First thing what we'll do is we'll clear everything here. Then we'll go and look for another keyword that I've already done. Uh, buy dog online was one of the keywords that had potential. Here's the buy dogs online keyword list that I ran through the Google Sweet Spot software. Like any other keyword list, it's going to find the best ones that are worth your time. For instance, for sale puppies, if you're into the dog market, it's got a fairly decent ratio. That may be something for you if you're into this market. Let's do a sort and see what other keywords it comes up with. Adopt puppies for free. Now, this is not a buy keyword but this could be used for AdSense, CPA, that type of stuff. The keywords that it brings back from the Google AdWords or the keyword tool are not necessarily always keyed in to what you're looking for. If it brings you back golden nuggets, you could use these for other types of websites depending on your business model. Pets for free adoption, uh, adopt dogs for free, all types of keywords that you could use on an AdSense site or a CPA site, advertising site, not necessarily selling something. Now here's one, buy blue dog food online. That's got a good ratio. Buy a pedigree dog food. So dog foods is a hot, these particular keywords all have good potential. So if you're selling pet products, you might want to be selling dog food. Now with this tool here, after doing lots and lots of research, I found an anomaly that at first I thought the tool was returning wrong results. But if you click the GSSI column, you look at where it returns zero results here. You're going to find for this particular keyword, and I found this across many keywords, the Shih Tzu. A lot of people are into the Shih Tzu market, for instance. There's 703 broad match results. Then you go over to exact you find that there's 706 results greater than the broad match. Generally, your exact results are going to be less than your broad match. Here's another one, Schnauzer. 696 results, 731. Now let's double click this and let's take a look at the actual results to prove to you that this is not an error. Here we are in the Google last page results for Schnauzer. It says it's got 69 pages, which it actually has 689 results. 
Now, normally, exact match, if you're using the old SEO methods, using exact match to determine is worth going after instead of using the comparison between the two of them. And look here, 86 pages, which is really 855 results here versus 689 broad match. What this is telling me, now these are real results. It's not, a, it's not a misprint. It's not an error in the tool reporting this. This is real. The other thing you need to look at is your ad count. Let's go back here. It's saying that we were able to find four ads. So whoever's optimizing this is not in the money niche to start with. And that what I'm seeing here, the best I can make out of this, that there'll be more people optimizing this keyword than what you'll find in the broad match. It's an anomaly in Google. I don't know why they return it that way, but you will find this across many, many keywords. Here's another one. Cat breeds. 758 in broad, 793. And then pay particular attention to the ads. There's no money in this, but it appears that people are going after this because there's only a thousand results that you can get. Here's another one. Online puppy. This is maxed out. There's only 10 ads. So by using the Google Sweet Spot tool, you can get by all those types of keywords that you're not aware of that everybody and his brother is looking to optimize and get right to the keywords that have the best chance of ranking and have the most amount of money being dumped in through the advertising network. Let's take a look at another keyword set. I'm going to clear this, go after another one. Let's look at uh, buy photos, which came out of the, the suggest terms. This niche here, the buy photos niche, really surprised me when I really looked into it. Well, here's another iPhoto that we talked about in the previous keyword, a lower broad match than an exact match. You're going to see that across. It should be the other way around like this one, photo buy. A higher broad match than an exact match. So let's do a sort and see what comes up. Here we go. Buy stock illustrations. Has 242 broad, 42 results in the exact match. Should be a decent keyword to be able to get some good rankings. As you can see here, there's lots of keywords that are being overlooked by everybody because they don't have the right tool to find out where these keywords are. Now we've looked at the dogs online, photos online. Let's take a look at another niche. Clear. Let's look at luggage. We've got the luggage keyword up. Let's do a sort for the GSSI. Let's take a look at this particular keyword. As you can see here, in this particular niche, we found some decent keywords to take a look at. Now we have a feature in here for the charts. Let's take a look when this Caribbean Joe luggage has their spikes in traffic. Here we are. It seems that the highest spike is in March. Goes down for April, goes back up for, for May and June. So the highest demand seems like is, let's say, spring and early summer. By clicking the charts, you can have a feel for when you could expect this particular keyword to start performing. As you can see over here, is that the initial spike is in December. Maybe this Caribbean Joe luggage is for traveling to warmer climates. You never know. This gives you an idea when your traffic spikes can happen with past history. Doesn't mean it's always going to happen that way, but at least gives you an idea of when certain keywords will perform. Now take a look at this keyword here. Hayes Luggage Review. Here's another one. Review site. A review site. Another review site. Or another review site. I've classified the keywords in three categories. There's buy keywords, there's the review affiliate type of sites where you're passing people on from your site to an, somebody else's product, and then there's what I call info sites, which are generally AdSense sites, advertising sites, CPA type of sites, something that you've put info up to get a click. As you can see here, there's a lot of review sites tied in to this luggage keyword and they all have great potential of you being seen and I find this across many many long tail keywords that if you're into selling affiliate products you can set up a review site get in there and capture that traffic